Continuing a series of videos on the Lambert W function, we have the problem on the board, Lambert W of X equals LN 4X. It's interesting, this is a little bit of a different format than some of the other problems we've seen. And again, what we're gonna do, we're gonna utilize our formula over here that is very useful, but in this case, we're gonna actually be using it in reverse. A little different than some of the other videos. So how are we gonna do that? Let's call, yeah, let's just, we'll call this here, we'll call this Y. And then of course, it doesn't really matter what we have for the variable over here. So let's just imagine we have remember Y E to the Y equals Y. So then we can take our Y and rewrite it in this format. So we'll write this right side as Lambert W LN 4X E to the LN 4X. On the left side, we're just going to have Lambert W of X. And now that we have Lambert W on both sides, we can just equate what we have inside the function. So we can say that X equals LN 4X E LN 4X. So from here, our problem is we want to isolate the X and we've got, we have our X alone on the left side, but then we have all these X's on the right side. What we can do, let's, first let's cancel out here and then we'll have this just as a 4X. So when we rewrite that, we're going to have X equals, and we'll bring this in front. So we'll have 4X LN 4X. Next, what I'll do is I'll divide by an X on both sides. Now what we have is one equals four LN 4X. Then we can divide four on both sides. That'll cancel. Let's use our rules of logarithm. We have our base E here and we'll raise that to the one fourth power. So we can rewrite this whole thing in yellow as four X equals E to the one fourth. By both sides by a four and we've isolated our X and we have X. And so we're just left with X equals one fourth E to the one fourth. And that's our answer. What I'd like to do is go back to our original problem and plug in our solution and see if this makes sense. So if we take our X and we plug it in on the left side, we'll have Lambert W of one fourth E to the one fourth. And you'll notice this is exactly in our formula that we want for the Lambert W function. So when we plug that in, we get the same exponent, same coefficient. This is just going to produce a one fourth. And then so hopefully if we do the same thing with our LN 4X, so we'll have LN 4 and we'll plug in our X. So that's going to be times one fourth E to the one fourth. So multiple, okay, so we're going to multiply that. That's just a one, so that cancels out. Then we'll have ln e to the one fourth. Then we can bring our one fourth here in front. And ln e is just one. So again, we have one over four. So we get the same solution on right side and left side. That's a good indication that we got the right answer. Got this problem from my quiz. Lambert W function. Provide a link in the description. I hope you check that out. Thanks for watching.